a very beautiful memorial. I'm quite proud to have been a part of it. Bomber Command, come in Bomber Command. Bomber Command, come in Bomber Command. This is 2nd Lieutenant Charles Charlie Brown of B-17 Flying Fortress Yeo Pub. Returning from a bombing raid over Germany, payload deployed, but we're shot up real bad. I lost my tail gunner, and there's a big, fat hole in the side of the fuselage. Half the tail section missing, we're coming in in one engine, losing altitude real fast. Please confirm landing opportunity at RAF Duxford. Boy, it's cold under the well diggers ass in the Klondike up here. Anyway, y'all better keep watching to the end see what happened to my plane. Boy, have we got a story for you. Sally B, Flying Fortress B-17, Flying Fortress, what a magnificent creature she is, we're just going to get out of here and try and find a place to land, let's take you on down here, on our left here, you might get a glimpse of some of the gate guardians, Chaps. There's a hurricane there. For all these targets, flak was intense and accurate. Interception strong and determined.
hang tight. Here we go. Your view is from the cockpit of a Messerschmitt 109 fighter, flying number two wingman in a free hunt raid to seek out and destroy enemy targets and aircraft. The 109s fly low and fast towards the English coast. Their pilots tense and alert for any sign of danger. Five Gs, climbing 2,500 feet in 10 seconds. Stick back, roll left. Dive to gain speed and close on the Spitfires. Object, to get into optimum firing distance of 100 yards. The only fire is deliberately out of range, hoping Spitfires will turn, allowing the bus to close. No effect. The Spitfires weave. 109's bounce in the prop wash. A simple maneuver by the Spitfires to put the 109's out of synchronization. The 109's cannot be thrown off. Another tactic is necessary. The Spitfires must get away. Stick back. Five Gs again to tighten the middle. Try to split the 109s. The 109s stay together. We get our fire range and close them. The fuel lines hit. The Spitfire is doomed. Experienced wingman follows down until he overtakes the falling British aircraft. Break and run for home. One of nines have fueled only for five minutes combat over England. The pilots talk about the success of their raid. is hit badly. Success turns to destruction. The wingman has failed to protect. The lead 109 falls. One. The wingman has no choice but to run for home, flying under maximum power, dropping down to wait top height. The Battle of Britain was fought from July to October 1940. It was the first defeat of Hitler's Luftwaffe and prevented the invasion of England. The price paid was high, but for the first time, the war was to turn in favour of Britain and her allies. Thank you for riding with us today. Well, I say, old chaps, here we are at Duxford, and it's quite eerie actually. I'm staying overnight on a Friday night before the madness happens tomorrow and Sunday and uh, it's just it's just a really strange feeling here like you're literally living in the history of the RF pilots it's crazy have a look at this now, I know you can't see very much at all just Listen to that. All you've really got is the droning of the M11 in the background. But what's in front of you is the runway. And to the left there is the uh, American Museum in the hangar. But it's just... It's just crazy. Do you think that our boys took off from here and girls and uh, yeah it's just really weird Tim said to me rough Tim but he said well, when you get to Duxford let me know if you think it's eerie I don't know if it's eerie I think it's just like knowing that what happened happened here you know and yeah that's all I gotta say about dad actually you can't see it but to the left of me, parked up is a Spitfire and a Hurricane 
just about where those lights are twinkling on the left of the screen. It's a really clear sky. Lots of stars. Tomorrow is going to be a gorgeous day. It's going to be a hot one. So I'm not looking forward to wearing my uniform, but I'm going to have to. Got to keep the rations safe for the boys and girls. So I've rigged up the lighting in the uh, state detective tent. Let me show you around in here. Not quite got it all set up yet, but yeah, there we go, old chaps. Jerky biltong, tea, coffee, hot chocolate, and a little battle of Britain offer, three bags for 20 pounds. There's my dinner cooking. Now, lucky for me, I found some paraffin because uh, I forgot my other stove. Should do me. And then over to the uh, the saucy, saucy goodness, of course. There we go. Hurricane Harry. I said I haven't finished setting up yet. It's been a bugger of a day. There's all price things I need to write on. And uh, yeah, there we are, old chaps. And oh, there's the new dam smashing barbecue sauce poster as well. Look. And uh, there's my beer. <laughs> Gotta have a beer, haven't you, behind enemy lines, old chap? So I'll just kick some on the floor. There we go. The little show deal poster and a, and a, and a um, sauce, fifteen pounds. Um, probably end up, I end up doing that deal online as well soon, old chaps, for the launch. And, and there's my bed. It's um, that's a World War Two officer's swag bed. Still got his name on the back of it. And uh, yeah, there you go. It's a bit stained, but it's all original. It's all been washed. Um, yeah, well, the outside I just gave it a bit of a dry clean, but the inside that is original. I washed that in the washing machine. It took three days to dry out because it's like proper sort of. It's it's not down. It's like a, a material inside, but it's proper old. Yeah, and inside. In the end here there's actually a pocket and in there is original toilet paper <laughs> I shit you not <laughs> there we go K Restwell valise and sleeping bag and what's great about this look at that it's got the guy's name on it E Cowper Blake RM it's got this beautiful leather strap in with a handle that then rolls up I mean you can see the patina on it it's all been cleaned, it's just got those uh, patina stains, which I really like, so yeah. Well old chaps, it's steak, veg and dumplings, and a um, bit of an emergency food this evening. I'm a bit tired. Um, yes, I have clean shaven, uh, and it's in preparation for tomorrow's uh, reenactment. So uh, yes, I did leave a sort of a little pencil number. You'll see tomorrow, old chaps. Or a better dress up, all in the name of Blighter, you see. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to stuck in, tuck into my steak, veg, and dumplings um, just here in the gazebo. And um, it's so peaceful, as I said, it's just really nice. I rigged up the lighting in here, so um, yeah, it's quite cozy, really. Um, yeah, I often eat these ration meals. Um, it's funny, I, I always say, and it's true, hand on heart, I eat everything I sell. I use myself all the sauces always in the fridge at home and um, mustard the salt um, the meals um, yeah, the beef jerky the biltong I have a candle burning at home quite often or even in here uh, I can't really do it in here because of the uh, it's an air base so they don't like you really having um, candles on the things in a day but um, yeah everything that I, I, I make um, I use because I think that's important and um, tea, coffee, hot chocolate um, the children like the hot chocolate in particular but um, yeah sort of my daily cup of tea is a is a home front tea and uh, Uber's a coffee um, so so yeah um, I stand by um, the products and uh, I use them all myself and I hope you enjoy using them too old chaps anyway it's me waffling on and all that jazz 
button just to tick it quick and easy. So I'm at Duxford, RAF Duxford, um, preparation for the Battle of Britain air show tomorrow and Sunday. It marks the 50th anniversary of the Duxford um, here. And um, yeah, it's um, certainly a special place. If you haven't been, you should definitely come. Today I had a walk around the American Museum. And the, um, it's just, it just blows you away. At the end of this month, I'm going to be at the BBMF. Big shout out to the BBMF. I'm going to be um, uh, doing a, a stall in the hangar there, um, surrounded by the, the Spitz and the and the the other airplanes. So um, it's an amazing privilege, and um, we'll do the hard launch for Nam um, Smashing Barbecue Sauce. They're old chaps as well. Yeah, the BBMF do amazing work. They're RAF Coningsby, uh, active air base, obviously, and. Um, I was very lucky to be invited along by Karen, who has kindly also inspired us with one of her photographs of um, of the Lancaster, the yeah, Avro Lancaster, which she took, which inspired Dam Smashing Barbecue Sauce. So thank you, Karen. Her name is on the back of the bottle, old chaps. And a big shout out to Alex as well, who does that design for us. So really appreciate it, guys. I hope you like the sauce. And... Um, it's the 80th anniversary for Dan Busters this year, so I was quite keen to get that out and and mark that anniversary. It was in May, but it's a it's a year thing. So um, what else to update you on? Well, I've been doing a few camps, um, but I haven't filmed um, all the way through because, to be honest, having such a good time. Um, I met up with uh, Craig East Anglia Bushcraft. Check this out. What a old bean! Hello, old chap. <laughs> How are we doing? Roddy, good show. Got quite a mesh of spit engine, but struggled on that hill a little bit. You flew up that hill, old bean. <laughs> what a view, eh? Look at that. All right, that's breakfast, old chap. That sounds good to me. Kingfisher, watercress, old chap. Here, old bean. Score, mate. Let's go. Sorted. Local produce, Love old it. shop, let's go. <laughs> You've got a box. Yeah. <laughs> old school. Love it. Get used to this. Move to Surrey, is it, Steve? <laughs> <laughs> Craig, big shout out to East Anglian Bushcraft and uh, what a smashing guy Craig is, met him a few times and uh, yeah, it's just, just a really nice uh, time to chill out, so again, testament to what a good time we had, we didn't ha have an awful lot of time to uh, you know, to film and why the ruddy hell should we old chaps. Um, also um, went to um, up to Mildenhall, um, which uh, was amazing, did a, a nice little curry in a hurry with uh, Rough Timber, David Fryers, and Zed Outdoors, and a lot of the other crew up there. Too many to name, but you know, all, all know who you are. Um, there's one of them, Welsh Galavanta, great guy. Uh, big shout out, Welsh Galavanta. Um, yeah, there's loads of you. I don't want to miss anyone out, but yeah, there's loads, and I won't keep going because I'll miss more people out. But um, really appreciated the invitation up there. And what a cracking place that as well, just on the border of uh, Suffolk. 
been out uh, also for Mark's birthday recently uh, with Rough Timber, MDM Outdoor Adventures and Alan. Cheers, Steve. <laughs> He's a, it's still going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Still Happy going. Happy birthday to you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> spam you got, cake again. You got two cans of Spam. Oh, no. you. you could have, literally have breakfast now. Yeah. Also went to Lavo on the farm. What a great event that was as well. Drive four by four with a two seat back, that's gonna drive no Cadillac. Rolling habitat, I'm an aristocrat, mates in the back and we're packing up. Sipping pine tea from the brim of a cup, but we don't give a buck, cause we can't get stuck. Remember six men, forage plants, picking nettles, doing fire dance. Don't leave no trace when you're camping in a place. Forgetting the pegs, always making the pegs. All these routes that I tread lead to pine needle beds. It's just a crack that I do, live in the wild, know it's the truth. Into the scene, I'll open the suits. That's what I do, here's my fire in the booth. Cause I don't mind the smoke on my vest. That's what I do, get it off of my chest. I'm a man of the ground, you see. And scared about me, put a bee suit on, I'm harvesting honey. That's what I do, don't be calling me funny. Man, I'm just a man of the land. And I ain't got a pan, but I know what I'm doing with the wood. And I know when I'm doing it good. Cause the night in a five or six. And that's what I do, twist, twist. It's a bushcraft thing. That's what I do, I'm a bushcraft king with a. But I cook the meals, that's what I do, how do you cook the meals? But I see the deer, looking through the woods and then I steer Get my bow, my arrow, quiver, that's what I do with the cold, I don't shiver I'm not scared of wet, you will never forget All the tips that I tell, tips I'm digging a well Tips I'm digging a well, well Tips I'm digging a well, well Thank you so much guys, have a really good rest of the Lavu on the farm and thank you again. Awesome, cheers! Um, my social media to, to make friends for a start but also to promote like local businesses. My little, I can see my little Steve down there, steak detective and lovely Cole from Outdoor Gear Essentials but to be able to like kind of promote local businesses as well is really important to me. So it's like I'm trying to, while I'm using um, my camps and the YouTube stuff as a, a very personal thing for me, I also want to share as much of that experience as I can with other people as well. Um, <laughs> so, not much time for filming. Odds and sods, as they say, and all that jazz. There is a war on, don't you know, old chaps? And but I hope you're enjoying these little snippets whilst I'm behind behind enemy lines and get five minutes to, uh, you know, send the transmission from RAF Duxford. Well, I'm going to stop waffling on now because I've just spied a little dumpling in the corner. You know what I mean? There it is. You know, just like your nan used to make in 1940. Those dumplings. I'll see you in the morning. Cheers, old chaps. Sally ho. Well, good morning, old chaps. A misty morning here at Duxford. And I'm jolly excited. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm so excited. <laughs> this morning. Lots of activity there later on. And there are the girls lined up all the way down there as far as the eye can see.
much as you want, actually. Well, I say good evening, old chaps. Look who's with me. Rough Timber. Good evening, old chaps. <laughs> Here we are on the home front lines at RAF Duxford. We are literally in the airbase doing a camp over. We've just had chicken curry and uh, a nice drink each. And now we're going to have a cup of tea and a uh, chocolate chip flapjack. So the light's not great. There we go. Oh yeah, the state detective started doing flapjacks. Look at that. We'll find them on our website next week. Bird in there, isn't there? Yeah. The, yeah. Might give it 10, 15. We could not open for half an hour. You're absolutely right. We could delay the Nothing. opening time of the opening of the state detective stall. I mean, the troops would just have to go hungry, wouldn't they, Tim? They'll have to starve, old chap, and uh, we'll just feed them half an hour later. We'll feed them half an hour later. I mean, we've got to see things here too, haven't we? <laughs> you know. Look at that. Indeed. Well, old chaps, we're a bit weary, so we're going to have our cup of tea. Tally-ho. <laughs>
man. This certificate has been presented to L. Franz Stigler in appreciation of his compassion and chivalrous action. Franz, uh, it sort of leaves me wordless, almost. <laughs> it could not happen to a nicer gentleman. you all thanks for watching I guess that leaves me one last thing to say Merry Christmas and a happy 2024 see you in the new year old chaps tally ho